Applications generally have two different technologies that they use to operate. One is called client-server, and the other one is called peer-to-peer. -peer. In a client-server environment, you generally have, exactly as the name sounds, a lot of clients that are out on the network, and all of those clients communicate with a central server. You might have a machine that is looking to get a web page, so it accesses a web server, and there's your client-server communication. They're generally in a client-server environment, no communication that occurs between the individual clients. One workstation is not going to ask another workstation to participate as part of this application flow. All of the devices that are clients communicate back to the single server. The advantages to this is some great performance because you don't have to worry about these slower devices. You can purchase a single server that's designed to operate at high speeds, and there's one place to go to administer the application. Everything is located on the central server. The disadvantages of this are, of course, you need a server. There's some cost associated with purchasing that hardware and maintaining the software that runs on that. And there is some complexity in setting up a large network and having all of these devices and applications communicate back to this central server. A peer-to-peer -peer network works dramatically differently. You have all of the different clients on the network that are peers of each other. They're both acting as both a client to the application and a server for the application. We've all heard about peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, where each one of these devices can contain files, and every device can start pulling different parts of that file from every other device. That's a very wide-scale type use of a peer-to-peer -peer architecture. The advantages to this are, of course, it's very easy to deploy. You can download the software, your application that's going to participate in this peer-to-peer -peer mode, and off it goes to find everybody else who's participating. And obviously, there's very little cost associated with that. We simply use the workstations that we're already using to do our normal work. The disadvantages here is that the application is located everywhere. If you need to upgrade the software for the application, you have to upgrade it on every single computer that's part of that peer-to-peer -peer architecture. You also can't secure this information very easily because all of the data is spread across all of these different machines. If you have an environment that needs a more centralized type of architecture, then client-server fits the bill. But if you need something that you can deploy over a large area and scale it across multiple systems, you might tend to use a peer-to-peer -peer network.